Authenticator apps that you might already be using like Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, Authy, and many others work great until your phone gets stolen. You need to migrate to a new phone. You lose your phone or better yet, your son drops a hammer on your phone and it's no longer usable. True story, last month in fact. Thankfully, there's a little known alternative that not only eliminates these concerns, it adds an even greater level of security than you already have. And that's what I'm gonna show you right now. Two quick things. First, if you're not using some form of two-factor authentication, please start doing that, at least for your most important accounts. Second, if you're using two-factor authentication but haven't created a backup of that 2FA, you're setting yourself up for some major headaches down the road. You need to do that. After my phone lost its short but valiant fight with the business end of a hammer, if I didn't have backup of my 2FA, I would have been in major trouble. My secret, and what I'm gonna teach you right now, is that some of my most important 2FA codes aren't kept in an app or in the cloud. They're kept with me, right here on my physical key that I can use on any device that I want. Check this. On my new phone, all I did was download the Yubico Authenticator app, and the moment I plug in my key, the codes appear. I didn't have to sign in or go through any complicated migration process. And when I move over to my computer to plug in the same key, the same codes appear there too. The codes aren't kept in the app. The codes are encrypted on the physical key itself, which means that I can access my 2FA codes on any device I want without worrying about syncing all this data to the cloud or losing my phone. So instead of trying to set up my 2FA codes on 10 devices at once for a backup, I only need to set it up on my primary and my backup keys, and then I'm good. If my son drops a hammer on my phone again, it doesn't matter because my codes are kept here. How does this work? It's really simple. Let me start by saying that this feature is only available for the YubiKey 5 series. Yes, I realize that this isn't free like an app is, but using a 2FA key offers a much higher security and YubiKey has kindly offered $5 off any key you purchase using the code allthingssecured at checkout. You can see that right here. To set up this secure authenticator app, I had to download Yubico Authenticator from the App Store or on their website for my computer and then plug in or tap my five series YubiKey. You'll see here that I've already set up some dummy accounts on this test key, but adding a new account is as simple as finding those three dots on the upper right and then clicking add account. From here, you'll either scan the QR code provided by the account you want to secure or use the manual code that they provide, just copy and paste it in. So for example, let's say I want to secure my LinkedIn account. I'll find the security settings and privacy settings, which in this case they call sign-in and security. You're looking for two-factor authentication or what LinkedIn calls two-step verification. And then you'll wanna choose the authenticator app over something less secure like SMS text. Despite what you'll see from a lot of these websites, even when they tell you to download Google Authenticator or in this case, because LinkedIn is owned by Microsoft, they'll say to download Microsoft Authenticator, you don't have to, I promise you. These codes aren't proprietary to any app, so you can use whatever you want including a YubiKey 5 series. Now, if you're doing this on a desktop, obviously you can't scan the QR code, so it is possible to copy and paste the manual code into the Yubico Authenticator. Or if you're on the mobile device, simply click continue and scan that QR code. Verify the code and that's it. If you've tapped your key to access this on your mobile device, you'll have to tap again to finalize the code to the key. Now, I know some of the questions you might be asking right now because I was asking some of the same things, okay? First of all, I did set up a backup key at the same time, which just means plugging in or tapping a second key and scanning that same QR code. Even with this extra key though, I still record my backup codes for redundancy. Second, this key-based authenticator app can store up to 32 of these authenticator codes per key, which means that if you have a lot of accounts that use authenticator codes, you might wanna be picky about which ones you add to your key. And let me clarify because I get a lot of questions about this. As a key, a 2FA key, you can use your YubiKey on an unlimited number of accounts for authentication. But as for authenticator apps, if you're storing these authenticator codes on your key, you're limited to only 32. So hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. Oh, and for those of you who think, but now all somebody needs to do is to steal your key and they have access to everything. 
Don't get too bent out of shape here. If you go into the configuration in the Yubico Authenticator app, find the menu item for passwords and reset, you can actually password protect your YubiKey, essentially making this a multi-factor authentication method instead of just a two-factor one. In fact, you can even set it up with most phones to take advantage of your biometrics to get access to the codes, whether that's your thumbprint or face ID. This whole two-factor authentication thing isn't as overwhelming as it may seem, I promise you. I've got an entire playlist of videos explaining every aspect of using this to secure your accounts. And remember that if you use the code all things secured, you can get $5 off a 2FA key or $10 off two YubiKeys right now. I promise you it's worth it for the increased account security.